Well, you know, it, it was interesting. I, I saw it sort of started like nine months ago. He was appearing in my social feeds from people I don't follow, but they were force feeding it down there because I think they were trying to create, you know, a, a cudgel to Trump, someone else. But the reality is RFK is a radical liberal who happens to be anti-vax. That may be the one policy where, where he leans a little bit right. But he was for open borders for his entire life. He's against farmers. He was a radical environmentalist. Uh, he was super anti-gun. You know, he says he's changed, his, he's changed his mind. He's changed his mind on everything that he did for decades. Everything magically six months ago, I don't believe that. So, you know, he's a phenomenal alternative to Joe Biden as a Democrat, but he is a radical Democrat. Again, the only place where he's historically ever differed from anything coming out of the Biden administration is that he's anti-vaccine. That's not enough. I think once people look at the record, it will speak for itself. So I think he's a great alternative as a Democrat. You know, maybe if people want to vote that way, but if you're going to vote for RFK, I see he's trying to get libertarians now. I'm like, again, he's anti-vax, but literally everything else would not be libertarian. But, you know, it, it, it's all part of the machine to try to stop Trump uh, as far as I'm concerned. And again, yeah, I think he's certainly a better viable option uh, you know, than Joe Biden for the Democrats, uh, but he's no conservative. Let's not kid ourselves.